viewers, welcome to Pep Live. This is Rachel. Samahan niyo kami sa masayang chikahan ngayong hapon kasama ang lead stars ng Kunwari Mahal Kita, Riza Senon and Joseph Marco. Hi po. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello Pepsters, kumusta kayo? And thank you guys for joining us today. Ayan, grabe. First time natin sa Pep Live si Riza and syempre yes. si Joseph. Yes, <laughs> na rin natin nakakasama sa Pep Live. Welcome guys. Thank you for being Thank here with that. us. Ayan, syempre magkwentuhan tayo. Kagabi lang kakatapos ng inyong very successful premier night ng Kunwari Mahal Kita. So, para sa mga Pepsters na hindi pa updated, kwentuhan nyo kami konti tungkol saan ba itong bago ninyong pelikula. Okay. Uh, hello mga Pepsters. Oh, excuse me sa voice ko. <clears throat> Kumanta kasi ako kayo kagabi. Char. <laughs> um, bali ako dito si Hides. Um, um, ako isa kong matapang, masipag, simple, at galit sa mga lalaki. So, tingnan natin kapag na-meet niya si Greg, yung character ni, ni Joseph, kung kung magpapa magiging marupok ba siya ayan ay grabe alam mo nyo kilig nga yung trailer pa lang na ito si Joseph meron ka bang ano yung character mo naman dito na si Greg so i i played the role of Greg Soriano isa siyang um, struggling artist na nagkaka problema sa kanyang asawa and uh, you know i think nangyayari naman sa buhay natin yun eh. especially if you know mas malakas kumita yung isang yung partner natin, especially kung yung babae mas malakas kumita. So, parang kine-question tuloy yung capabilities mo as a, as a man, as a provider. Up to the point na, yon magkakaroon sila ng uh, problem, magkakalabuan sila, uh, meron susuko, and ito namang character ko, si Greg, uh, he's gonna find himself. So, lalayo siya at yun nga, meron siyang makikilala ng isang babae na na makaka-appreciate sa kanya. So, doon darating yung time na, you know, kaya kailangan ninyong pumili. Mm-hmm. Malalim yung hugot ni Greg, ha? Pero dito yeah. sa trailer, ang cute nung uh, meet cute ninyong dalawa, nung characters ninyo na medyo kilig. Very, alam mo, para kasi si Riza, parang yung um, role mo dito, parang NBSB ang peg. Tapos na may hugot din. Ano? Yes. Oh, yung, yung meet namin talaga, para kami, ano, asot po siya. Ayan. Yeah. <laughs> Pero eventually, magi eh, basta, eventually, hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari. <laughs> so, yeah. nung, Noong unang in-offer sa inyo to, parang na-excite ba kayo since first time ninyong magkakatrabaho? Parang medyo may ganong similarity ba in terms of yung sa characters ninyo? Kayo din as co-stars? Um, yung, yung binigay sa akin yung script, hindi ko pa alam kung sino yung makakatrabaho ko. Um, nagustuhan ko yung story kasi napaka-relatable talaga niya sa mga nangyayari sa atin, di ba? So, yun. And si, yun na lang ako si Joseph. Hindi naman namin first time. Kasi ang first time namin makatrabaho, first time ko siya makatrabaho nung MMK, yung kakalipat ko lang sa ABS-CBN. Hmm. Okay. So, so na-excite so, ako siya yung katrabaho ko. Siyempre, na-experience ko na kung paano siya mag-work. So, hindi mahirap. Di ba? Madali siyang katrabaho. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Si Joseph, ikaw, ano yung reaction mo nung nalaman mo na makakatrabaho mo ulit si Riza? Uh, when they offered me this film, sa title pa lang na nakuha na nila ako, sabi ko, wow, interesting yung title, you know, kunwari mahal kita. And then, of course, I, I have to read the script. And nagustuhan ko naman yung script. And yeah, when when they told me that si Riza yung makakatrabaho ko, like, like what she said, hindi namin the first time, but first time for a movie. So, kasi, to be honest, yung MMK, it's like two episodes lang and very limited yung scenes namin. So, you know, medyo nabitin ako and I enjoyed working with, you know, Riza. Talagang masarap siya katrabaho, magkaang 
Um, she's very talented, you know, and I, I love working with great talents. So, yeah, I got super excited. And um, true enough, naging smooth yung takbo ng yung, yung shootings namin and uh, wala naging problema. Mm-hmm. Pero ang galing din kasi syempre dahil yun nga, hindi naman kayo matagal pa nagkatrabaho before. So yung journey ng characters niya medyo nag-swak na ay nagkikilanlan ganon. Mm-hmm. Na nakapag-bonding ba kayo dahil ito ay out of town shooting, napakaganda ng location, beach no sa Pangasinan, tama ba? I uh, yes. Bataan ng Pangasinan. Yes, I know what you mean. Kolinaw na sinabi sa trailer. Okay, so how was it yung uh, mga shooting ninyo? Ng Wait. Uh, actually short time lang yung bonding kasi during pandemic kasi yun. So, medyo ma-strict. Bawal. Yeah. Kasi. Ah, oo nga. Para so, after work. Na pala to na, yes. na, na shoot, no? After work, diretso agad sa rooms. Ganon. Mm-hmm. Sobrang strict nila. And kasama ko kasi si Knight that time. Na nagpapabreastfeeding ba ako. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan na kailangan na ako ni Knight. After ko talaga mag-work. Diretso na ako. Tapos, yun. Ah, so ito yung panahon na talagang very limited pa, yung mga movements yes, dahil 2020, yung latter part ng 2020 ata kayo nag, nag-start ng shooting. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Pero, you fi- ang galing na kasi nag, nakapag, ano kayo, nakapag work pa rin kayo and ito finally lalabas na so mas excited kayo for sure na ito na yon. Yes, kasi so, so, sobrang tagal. Parang kami... Um, nang hinayang kami kung actually like question pa kami, papalabas ba yung movie? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Three years then. <laughs> Tapos, yeah. yun, yung nalaman namin na ipapalabas na. May message ko agad, tinag ko agad si, ano, si, si Joseph. Sabi ko, ay, ito na, ipapalabas na siya. Ano nga uli yung character ko? <laughs> Sino nga uli yung character ko? Yeah, <laughs> nakalimutan niya. Yeah. Yeah. So, so marami rin talaga ang pinagdaan. Maraming pinagdaan na yung movie na to. So we actually started shooting 2019 as natigil kami and then we had to resume no, at the hype of pandemic. And um yeah, now it's it's coming out. Came out actually. So we're we're just, you know, excited for everybody to see ko ano yung ginawa namin. Sino yung sino yung tahimik sa set at sino yung madaldal? Doon sa mga instances na nagkakaroon kayo ng encounter off cam. Uh, actually kami ni Rise pa- parehas kaming tahimik eh. So kami. Yeah, tahimik kami. Si ano, <laughs> si Natalie medyo ma ano. Sa si Tao. Ayo, kasama niya din sila Tao and si Natalie. Yeah, yeah. Siya, yeah, niya yung may ingay. <laughs> yeah. Nakapaghanda, yeah. nakapaghanda kayo para sa roles niyo like Um, para sa familiarity workshop, may ganun pa ba na kailangan or nag-reading lang kayo muna bago kayo sumabak sa shoot? Um, wa- wala eh, no? Mm-mm. Wala, no? Kahit reading? No, no, no wala, wala na yung reading. I think I was, I was still doing Los Bastardos nung nag-start kami nung shoot, oh. shooting nito. And then yung pandemic naman, Yeah, although although wala wala kami naging preparation talaga yeah. or workshop yeah. it's just you know. Kasi ako ginagawa ko naman general set. So tapos kasi may isa pang movie akong ginagawa that time and um yung Bella Bandida sabay-sabay. <laughs> Sobrang busy. Sabay-sabay. Sobrang busy. Sabay-sabay. Ah, ano na compartmentalize yung mga characters yung pag ganun? Na segue-segue yung mga projects. Medyo mahirap po. <laughs> Halo-halo na. Na, hindi ko rin alam kung paano namin ginagawa yun. So, <laughs> bahala na eh. I mean, you have no choice but to do it. So, yeah, dadating ka na lang sa point na, you know, you're gonna be in character. So, yeah. Just trust your instincts. Mm-hmm. Doon lumalabas talaga yung art, no? Kasi makikita mo, like yun, um, wala naman um, real life na romance, pero makikita mo sa screen na may kilig eh. Kilig yung characters ninyo, no? Pakikilig ng mga viewers nito, for sure. 
O, pa iiyak hindi. Nako ha. Ay, nako, madami. Patatawanin, iiyak kayo. Mm-mm. Aasa kayo. Oh, masasaktan kayo. Yeah, Ayan, yeah. i-inlove kayo, syempre. Eto, may hugot ba or kahit pa paano, meron ba kayong mga naalala dahil sa characters nyo? Si Raiza muna, no? dahil first time ma-fall nung kanyang character dito. Ikaw ba may hugot ka or may mga naalala ka from your past na pwedeng paghugutan nung ganun, na na-inlove ka? Siguro nung ano, yung mga bagets pa ako, yung may crush ka, tas umasa ka, na baka merong chance, tas wala pa lang tingin lang sa'yo, kapatid. Ouch! O, oh, diba? <laughs> kapatid. <laughs> Grabe yung kapatid. Hindi man lang friends. Parang so, baby sister. Kasi, baby sister, mga ganun. Kasi Sibling sobrang zone. baby face kasi ako eh. So, yun. Kahit na hindi super layo yung agwat dun sa guy. Medyo, ma- konti lang naman. Hindi konti. mas super super. Grabe yung baby sister, ouch. Ang ima-imagine mo yung younger self mo. No? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, naging man-hater ka ba ever? Masasabi mo ba? Katulad ng iyong character. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Na si Hyde. Ay, Nagpapaiyak na. lang. Oh. <laughs> Ay, so yung, nag- so yung nagpapaiyak. Ayan. Ayan tayo, Asan guys. Yan, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ito naman si Joseph. Ikaw ba, meron kang hugot na heartbreak na pinanggalingan after, nung bago mong ginawa ito? Uh, heartbreak? Naranasan Wala naman, na pero alam mo, na, na, nakarelate ako dun sa part na kasi parang yung character nga ni Greg, parang kinikwestiyon siya nung yung character ni Natalie na parang, you know, he can provide for this family. So when I was younger, I had an ex-girlfriend. Uh, she, she was five years older than me. So, you know, I remember the time that I was so irresponsible. I was always thinking about my immaturity, ko, that I have to grow up and stuff like that. So, I remember the part of that. I was just 19 years old then. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, super young. Of course, at that age, no, I enjoy it. Yeah. So, I don't have to handle ng money. Paano yeah, but it's, it's, it's also my fault because I, I chose an older, you know, girl. She was 24 at that time. So, okay. yeah. So, was it the reason that it didn't work out? Yung age gap talaga at that time? Yeah, yeah. Because I was 19, you know, especially for a guy na ganong kabata. Parang ang dami pang, ang dami pang pagdadaan, ang dami pang gagawin. So, yeah. Hindi pa talaga yun. O, oh, diba? Yep, Hindi yep, pa yep. Pa Grabe. Grabe na nakakatuwa naman. Pero yung at si ayun, tingin mo ba naniniwala ka na ang guys ba mas dapat um, mag-provide for a girl or i- parang naniniwala ka na equal footing naman na ngayon na pwede namang pareho yung ayaambag in terms of money? Um, you know what? For me, it really depends eh, on the situation. Pero, mm-hmm. dapat talaga pares kayo, you know, not just one side. But the guy should, the guy should always step up. You know, he should really, you know, work harder. Pero yeah, at the end of the day, it's, it's a, that's why it's called a relationship. It's a, it's a team, you know. Dapat tulungan kayo and, you know, through good times and bad, ni dapat talagang, you know, dapat ikaw ganto, dapat ikaw ganyan. So I think it's, should be more of like supporting each other kasi yung pinipression yung isa isa. So, I think that that's gonna be a healthy relationship kapag ganun yung mindset niya towards each other. Mm, fairness kay Joseph. Ikaw, how about you, Riza? Kano po yung sinabi ni Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> Umantik na mabuga ni Joseph yung iniinom niya. <laughs> hey, kasi ikaw. simple sa sabihin ko na unahan ako ni Joseph. Gagawin ko yan, ha? Ah. Mamaya sa mga interviews <laughs> natin pa. Katulad na sinabi ko, Raisa. May straw ako, may straw ako. <laughs> Pero ikaw, ano ba, napaisip ka ba na may natutunan ka ba from Hyde dun sa, ano niya, trust, kung may trust issue man siya dito sa movie or kung ano man yung natutunan mo from her? Or napaisip? Um, 
Ang natutunan ko kay Hides, uh, masyado kasi siyang nagpadala sa feelings niya. I mean, so wag, wag masyadong marupok. <laughs> Para hindi napapahamak. <laughs> ah, yan ang aabangan ng mga pepsters sa ano movie na to, no? Yeah. Hindi, na. pero paasa rin naman kasi si Greg, eh. You know, sobrang smooth nung, ata- nung suabe ng atake niya from being uh, masungit tas naging okay sila. Kaya mahirap talaga sa party hearts. Ano masyadong makwento? Mahirap. Hindi nga, parang mas lalo silang ma-excite. Excite. Oo nga. Actually, actually, yun yung gusto mo makikita. Dabas pagbitin tayo. <laughs> kung paano yung dynamics nung parang nagpanggap sila na boyfriend-girlfriend pa lang. Parang interesting kung paano yung magiging sino ang unang masasaktan or paano ba mag- magkaka-inloven ba talaga sila? Sila ba magkakatid? Ganyan yung mga aabangan ng viewers. Oh my gosh! Exciting! Well, ang question dyan kung happy ending ba or hindi. Yun nga! Kasi <laughs> mga minsan may mga movie ka na hindi happy ending eh. Kaya, oh, uso na mga yun yun. Diba? Gusto mo ba happy Kaya, ending, Rach? Siyempre, gusto natin ang happy ending, pero so, gusto din so natin ayaw mo nang may ending. ayaw mo nang may bigat. Yung paglabas mo ng sine yan, ang bigat na sana, sana. Pero gusto ko din sana. yun kasi it would make moviegoers think about their own uh-huh. situations, diba? Uh-huh. Buti so, na lang dalawang verse na namin. Diba? Oh my gosh! Grabe, tignan natin yan. <laughs> Kaya nga, para mas makurious sila. Para mas makurious. Alam mo, buti na lang, ano to, <laughs> ritual. Kasi <laughs> nakurot kita. Nakapusta niya. Parallel universe bigla. Nakakaloka. Ito na kasi kayo pareho, no? Ang tagal niyo na sa industry. So I'm sure madaming mga young actors and actresses na matututo din from your experiences. So ito yung Kwen- konting kwento about how ano um how what are the lessons that you that you learned as an artista in terms of handling yung career nyo and ano sa tingin nyo yung mga pinaka importanteng lesson na daladala nyo pa rin hanggang ngayon looking back through the she rise um, much better in Saren Oh, oh, parang tanda ako, grabe. No, no, no. It's a, it's a respect. <laughs> okay, for me kasi, since yung nanalo po ako ng Starstruck, parang never, nilagay ko sa, sinasabi ko sa sarili ko na hindi ko pinangarap maging sikat. Mas gusto ko na makilala ko bilang actress. Hindi mm. dahil sikat ako, kundi dahil sa talent ko. Um, okay lang sa akin kung mabigay sa akin support, mga ganyan. Kasi ganun nangyari sa career ko po eh. Parang slowly but surely. Never akong nagmadali. Kasi naisip ko parang pag madali ka umakyat, mabilis ka rin bumaksak. Parang ganun lagi ko sinasabi. So, ang importante, makasurvive ka sa industry kasi pihira yung tumatagal sa industriya. Um, at mahalin lahat ng taong nasa paligid mo. Respetohin yung mga mga veteran artista, actresses, actors. Kasi ngayon, karamihan sa mga bata na artista ngayon, nakakalimutan nilang magbigay po guys sa mga nauna sa kanila Just sa mga seniors or sa mga mga veteran so sana wag nilang kalimutan yon na magpakilala sila na parang kasi yun yung ano eh yun yung tinuro sa amin before eh, na kapag papasok kayo sa isang room or may project kayo the first time or meron kayong mga artista na hindi niyo kilala wag niyo hintayin na sila yung lumapit sa inyo. Ikaw ang lumapit, magpakilala ka. Hi, ako po si Raiza Sinon. Magandang umaga po, ganyan. Ganon. So, yun, marami ko nakikita ng mga bagong artista, especially yung mga bata na wala lang, diretso lang sila. Well, tas katabi ko, veteran na artista, na parang, tas tanong sa akin, sino yun? Tapos sasabihin ko, ah, hindi ko rin po siya sila. 
Hindi ko rin po siya kilala eh. <laughs> Ayun. Tapos, yun yan lang. Na sana yung mga, ba- yung mga bago ngayon. Ah, matuto silang rumispeto. Mahalin yung mga taong nasa paligid na yung mga nakakatrabaho na especially mga production. Um, at maging professional sila. Especially sa time. Ayan. Grabe, 19 years sa showbiz si Riza. Ni reveal. Ni reveal. 19 years. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe pero yun nga no ang galing na kaya magtatagal talaga dahil kung ganun yun. Oo. Hindi um, kasi kapag pinangarap mo maging sikat ka. Parang parang ano, parang for me parang mahirap eh kasi ang dami mong kalaban. Bakit hindi ka na lang mag-focus sa talent mo, sa passion mo? Kasi through that pwede mong ma- makuha yung gusto mo na sikat ka pero at the same time kilala ka bilang actress or bilang actor. Mm, ayan. Ito naman si Joseph na matagal na rin. Ilang years ba ang bilang mo sa iyong career or tama well, ba na well, Ah, 12. Okay. Alam well, mo agree ako sa lahat ng sinabi ni Rice. Ganun. Ayun na siya. Lumalaki na siya. Oh. <laughs> Then, you know what, looking, looking back, um, ako naman opposite ako ni Riza. When I was starting, you know, I, I started as a model. When I was starting, gusto kong maging sikat. Na I wasn't really thinking about the talent. Parang feeling ko show business is, you know, it's all about pagiging sikat. But as time goes by, you know, I was getting um, roles na mas challenging, serious roles. And that's the time I realized that, okay, this is this path is where I want to go. I want to be, I want to be taking serious characters, you know, serious roles. And I, I just fell in love with, you know, accepting very challenging roles, like heavy, heavy roles, um, heavy projects, you know, um, like the last time we, I first worked with Riza, yung character ko doon, may Tourette Syndrome. So, those characters that makes you think na, you know, you question yourself, kaya ko ba to? Parang impossible. Yun yung, you know, that kind of challenge, that's what gets you. You know, you, you dig deep into the character and that's what makes you an artist. So, yeah, and um, luckily, I was, I was being able to get um, an offer get offered with with roles like that you know especially working with great talents the last teleserie that i did was for provinciano and you know siguro sa sobrang high intensity tsaka ganda ng project ngayon nahihirapan ako tumanggap ng you know offers sa akin kasi i i i tend to compare like you know the the projects that i did and then kasi when when you are, when you get, parang pag nag-mature ka sa isang, um, sa career mo, parang ang hirap na tumanggap ng mga, you know, light projects. So, yeah, and um, I'm, I'm very thankful with show business kasi I was able to discipline myself to the highest level, you know, when preparing for a role. Sobra, lahat talaga gagawin mo to, to be in characters, you know, being phys- physically fit, you know, from practicing something na, you know, na kailangan ng, ng character. So, talagang sobrang nakatulong siya sa, sa buhay ko. And, um, yeah, my advice to the new ones, you know, tama naman lahat ng sinabi ni Riza, you know, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be humble. You know, you have to respect the people na mga nauna sa'yo. Because you know, I mean, there they are the examples that you want to follow, especially yung mga nagtagal. So if you sumu magtagal, you have to look kung sino ba yung mga talaga nagtagal sa showbiz industry and you know follow their footsteps. I'm not saying na gayahin mo sila, but you know just the good examples of it. And um, yeah, dapat wala kang tatapakan from 
from the dun sa pinakamababang tao because you never know next thing you know there there shining boss mo so just you know re- respect everybody from the small people to the way up there so yeah may times ba na parang feeling na gustuhan niyo na, na parang suko na lang ako kapag ka may mga waiting time na masyadong matagal bago dumating yung magandang role na isip niyo mag-give up may mga ganung times hindi mawawala yun eh syempre ang um, pag-artista hindi naman niya regular eh kung meron lang dar- darating na opportunity or project sa iyo doon lang ikaw makakapag-work di ba So kaya dapat maging maging wise din yung mga ibang art, yung mga lalo yung mga bagong artista na wag silang mag-focus sa pagiging artista lang yung kinikita nila, i-invest nila para if ever man na uh, walang dumating na project, meron kang iba pang pagkakaabalahan. So hindi hindi ka nawawalan. So yun. May mga times talaga na pumasok yan sa isip ko, uh, as in na-depress ako, pero, pero bumangon pa rin, siyempre. Ito, um, Riza, um, anong masasami mo dun sa, kasi recently, no, na balita yung tungkol dun sa may mga um, netizens na question yung meme, na natawa ka lang naman, pero sila parang... <laughs> Ano yan, minasama yung loyalty issue, ganyan, sa dating network, tapos sa bagong network. Ikaw, what do you think about loyalty issue versus dun sa, nag-work naman pareho yun? I mean, yung yeah, network and, and yung star. Sabi ko nga, oh, hindi na dapat ini-issuehan <laughs> Hindi na dapat. Tumog pati sarili ko, tinatawanan ko lang. Ah, uh, Matagal na kasi, matagal na akong lumipat, di ba? So, binabalik na naman na parang nawala na yung prangkisa ng EBS, ganyan. So, parang for me, uh, mag-move on na tayo. Ngayon nga, nagkukulab na sila eh. Di ba? So, pa- pa- ba- para saan na mag-away-away ng dahil lang sa network, di ba? So, ngayon nga, nagkukulab na. So, bakit di na lang... Kesa mag-away-away, bakit ni na lang suportahan yung bawat isa? Uh-huh. And ikaw, meron yung issue, yung minsan, no, may mga pagka-solid fans talaga. Hindi nila nakikita yung mutual relationship between a network and a star na pareho naman yeah. na bibigayan. Hindi lang naman siya Ooh. about just one thing na binigyan ng opportunity or may contribute star. Um, himself or herself. Ikaw, what do you think about that? Um, kasi ako, ang, ang sinasabi ko nga na ako, freelance na ako, so kahit saan, pwede ako magtrabaho. So, hindi talaga sa akin issue na kung saan, kung saan, ako, i, kung saan ako ilagay ng Viva na, na project, okay lang sa akin. So, Naiintindihan ko naman yung mga ibang supporters na sobrang loyal nila doon sa network. Naiintindihan ko yon But, syempre, maging open-minded tayo na ngayon, hindi na uso yon I mean, hindi na uso na pag natin yung ibang tao na isasama natin doon sa galit natin na iniwan niya yung network na nagpas, nagpakilala sa kanya, yung ganyan. Mm-hmm. Ako, nagpaalam ako ng maayos before ako umalis sa dati ko pong network. So, walang issue. Sila lang yung nagbibigay ng issue <laughs> doon. Okay. Ayan, klarong-klaro yan, Pepsters. Ito si Joseph Marco naman. Recently din na headline dahil naman Ayan sa na pag-ibig no? <laughs> underwear model. Ano to, Ay, Joseph? Pala. <laughs> <laughs> ano nangyari? Ikaw ba? Nagulat ka ba sa reactions ng mga peers mo at the same time ng netizens nung lumabas tong iyong photo? Nung pinost mo? Well, di naman ako nagulat kasi alam ko naman from the very you know, dun sa shoot pa lang sabi ko, oh, this, this is gonna be you know, this is gonna create a buzz 
Pero not, not, na sobrang entertained lang ako sa mga, you know, sa mga comments ng mga friends ko, especially the people that I know. You know, Miss Os- the Rosanna Rosses. Sobrang tawa-tawa ako sa mga comments niya. And also, oh, yeah. Joros. <laughs> Pinulapog mo ang mga ano, tao sa Ash Wednesday. Nakakaloka. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know what? I, I just want to add up dun sa ano, sa, sa, sa pagiging loyalty sa network yung kay Ryza. Okay. I think, you know, if you're thinking as, you know, like as a worker, you know, pwede talagang isipin ng mga tao yun na, okay, it's about loyalty. But if you're thinking as a, from a different perspective sa pagiging businessman, of course, you, you, tend to manage yourself, you know, iisipin mo kung saan ka ba talaga, you know, saan ba ang maraming opportunity sa'yo. Kasi hindi naman every year you get the same opportunity. So sometimes, you know, you want to work with different actors from a different network. And, you know, lahat naman kasi feeling ko nadadaan sa magandang usapan. You know, when kapag nagpaalam ka ng maayos and they think that, you know, networks naman, they, they tend to look, you know, after you. Kung sa tingin nila, okay, you're better off there and we're we're happy na, you know, you have an offer there, you know, ibibigay naman nila sa iyo. So I think it's beyond loyalty. You know, it's it's about, you know, looking for business opportunities. So, yes. Yeah. Ako gusto kong sinabi nyo nga na yun, no? na nadadaan naman sa communication so yeah, yeah. doesn't have to be something na um, negative or may nagbe-burn ng bridges kasi kung maayos wala naman nga mong problema kung nagpaalaman mm-hmm. ng maayos kasi may mga tao kasi like hindi naman nila alam nangyayari behind nung ano eh yeah, yeah. so yeah, exactly. kung lang yung nakikita nila sa sa social media yung mga ganyan yun lang, doon lang sila humuhugot. Pero hindi nila alam kasi yung nangyayari sa likod noon kung bakit nangyari yun. Hindi nila exactly. namin pwedeng i-elaborate pa yun. Kasi baka, yun nga lang, na yun lang yung nakikita nila. Ang dami ng add-ons eh. What if pa i-elaborate pa namin ng buo? Mas lalong madadagdagan ng mga dadagdag. Tapos lalaki lang ang lalaki yung issue. So, huwag na lang. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 they don't, you know, people tend to don't see your frustrations. Yung mga pinagdadaanan mo, let's say, like, you, have, you don't have a project for six months to one year. And just because you transferred, they would say na, you know, ah, um, hindi ka loyal. So it's... Or wala uh, kang utang na loob. Wala utang exactly. na loob. Ingrata. Ganyan. Yes. Exactly. So, so pinagpipiestahan ka nila. But they don't really see your human side na parang I, I also have needs may pinagdadaanan ako so but yeah I mean you, you cannot control it you know it's for for other people for them it's entertainment you know yeah. na-entertain sila na nakikita ka nilang ganun but yeah it's um it's a sad reality you know ganun talaga okay ayun klaro yun bago ako mag-move on sa next question kung meron ditong phone in kanina may Pepster, si Kim, pa-teammate ko to ha. Meron siyang ano, question. Grabe naman si Mark. Ano masasabi mo sa comments sa mga netizens na ayan na. Hindi <laughs> ba ko na nga yung usapan? Bumalik na naman tayo doon. <laughs> Kasi nakita ko ko ba yung nag-post. Tinano ko naman yeah. na sana kaya lang ayun. Yun na nga, sinagot ko na kanina yan. Uh, sabi ko, I'm, I'm, I'm entertained doon sa mga comments na nababasa ko. And uh, up until now, you know, pag may nakikita ako, natatawa talaga ako sa mga comments. Sila halo-halo eh. So, yeah. I mean, you're, you're comfortable showing your skin. Yung mga ganun na mga pakita na abs. Or... Well, now, now that I'm, you know, I'm 34 years old. So, I think it's about time, you know. It's about time. I, it took me, took me 12 years before, you know, accepting a, an underwear endorsement. Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Yeah. So you feel like um ano to, meron kang gusto ding image na gusto na or ready ka na for mga fear ano to, bucket list na fearless na okay, go. 
Your well, um, you know what? I I didn't really plan it. You know, kusang dumating yung offer, and then when Hanford offered me this um, endorsement, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm ready. You know, I think it's about time. So let's see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Grabe ka, Kim. Oh, ayan na, sinagot na ni, ni Joseph. Ito, ang ganda ni Ate Riza from Miguel Pascual. Hi, Pepsters. Thank you for watching. Naku, lalo na in person pag nakita mo. <laughs> Ito, nabanggit nyo kanina no, yung handling finances. Ito si Joseph. Alam ko, may mga businesses ka. Ano yung tips na masishare mo in terms, ano ba yung mga businesses na pinasok mo para yung earnings mo hindi lang basta mapunta sa kung saan? Well, uh, I, I, I would <clears throat> suggest dapat yung papasukin mo, you know, interesado ka. And, you know, kailangan mong aralin. And at the same time, you know, don't be afraid to fail. Kasi, you know, like what I said, um, failure is not the opposite of success. Failure is part of success. So, minsan, kailangan mo talagang pagdaanan yung you know, malulugi ka, mas ma, hindi ka gana yung negosyo mo, but it's part of the journey, you know, it's part of the game. It's it's preparing you to something na, you know, na maging isang successful businessman. You know, it's not it's not an overnight thing, and I'm pretty sure na lahat ng mga successful people, ang dami nilang pinagdaanan na, you know, na problema, and, you know, I believe in the saying that fall down seven times, stand up eight. That's because dun ka magiging solid, eh. dun ka talaga matututo. So now that you know, uh, and dami ko ng pinagdaanan, and dami ko natutunan, you know, slowly it's it's you know, mafeel mo eh, na parang okay. Now I get it. Na kuha ko na. It's working. It's working. It's working. And then once you get there, talaga makikita mo na okay. Talagang magsusunod-sunod na yung luck and success. Anong business yan na ginagawa, pinag-pinagkasihan um, mo ngayon? Well, you know what? Dapat kung saan ka makakita ng opportunity na feeling mo magdo-double yung money mo, you go for it. You study it. So ako, uh, halos lahat pinasok ko. Eh. I've, uh, I've had, I have a laundry shop, restaurant business, manpower, um, aesthetic clinic. So, yun nga, for me, kung ano kung makita mong opportunity and you think na interesado ka, you know, go for it. Go for it. Okay. So, existing to lahat ngayon yung mga business mo? Yeah, yeah. Again. Do you believe na, yun nga, don't spend, just because you earn more, you have to spend more? Parang, or don't oh, spend. What do you mean? Spend, spend Sorry, more? Sorry, don't spend. Than, parang if you earn more parang don't even if you earn more don't um spend um more money parang it doesn't have you don't have to spend a lot even though you earn more parang ganon oh yeah definitely because not all the time you're gonna earn big so i think you have to be smart about your money it's like you know taking care of something hindi mo dapat iwaldas ng waldas yan kasi talaga magtatampo yan sa iyo so i think you have to be wise when it comes to you know like investing it and uh, minsan naman kasi kapag nasa bangko ba lang parang it doesn't, it doesn't really move so natutulog lang siya so i think you have to exert effort you have to you know read i don't know whatever it is that that's going to make you grow and learn more about business about money so you do that you know talagang kailangan mo mag-exert ng effort it's not gonna come to you you know just because you have so much money may darating na idea sa'yo you have to exert effort talaga for you to get it and once once you're like that once you're business minded automatic eh yung mga friends na you're gonna hang out with they're also business people so next thing you know Parang you're 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 surrounded by this you know wise people, business people, and you know nagtutulungan na lang kayo. You, you collaborate, you help each other. It's a connection. So yeah. Ano yung pinaka ano nagstart ka kung did you start small sa mga business? Like how much yung mga like 
meron kasi yung mga kwento na 2,000 pesos in-invest tapos pwede nang saka siya lumago. Yung no, malaking actually, pera ba agad? O pwede actually, mag- I started big. I started big. Oh. So, it's, um, alam mo yung pikit mata na parang okay, gonna do this. Pero yun nga, as, as time goes by talaga, marami kang matututunan. And those lessons that you're gonna get, you're gonna get, you're gonna carry that for the rest of your life. So, Ayan. yeah. Natutun- in fairness, no, from yung 19 years old na Joseph Marco, <laughs> na hindi mahunun na mag-handle ng pera, ngayon wise na sa business. Si Riza, ikaw, yes, ano ba yung, mag, ikaw ba, masasabi mo ba na ikaw ba yung magastos sa pera or yung marunong mag, ano, magtipid or maging masinop sa earnings? Balance. May times na magastos ako. <laughs> Or hindi sa sarili ko, kundi kay night. Um, tsaka sa pagkain. Ako talaga, uh, matipid ako when it comes to sa mga gamit ko. Like, never akong nahilig sa mga signature bags or ko ano man. Um, more on sa food. Hindi ako nagtitipid pagdating sa food kasi mahilig ako kumain. So, yun. So, nag ano rin ako, pumasok din ako ng business sa restaurant. Uh, part owner po ako ng Alegria Manila sa BBC. And meron kaming bubuksan pa ng isa, parang branch uh, restaurant sa Tagaytay. Wow! Same concept store? No, no. Restaurant. Same same group. A but same group. Pero another concept. Wow! Congrats, Raya. So, marunong din mag-invest pareho tong mga guests natin. Pepsters, ha? Talagang wa isa pera. So, um, talagang minake sure mo yon even at a younger age, na makapag-ipon at makapag-invest. May nagturo ba sa'yo? Wala. <laughs> Wala. Ako na yon parang syempre nakikita ko yung ibang artista na na sobrang dami nilang projects and then pa, kung babalikan mo sila ngayon, parang wala silang naipon, ganyan. So, syempre, ayaw mo maging ganon. Yung mangyari din sa yung ganon na nag-stick ka lang sa pagiging artista mo. So, so syempre, isipin mo rin yung future mo. Lalo na ngayon na ako, meron akong family, may anak kami. So, yun. Yun yung priority talaga. Ayan. Speaking of night and family, ikaw, meron ka ba, anong natutunan mo about relationship now that you're a family woman? Um, for me, uh, yun nga. For sure, tatanong mo sa akin, kailan kayo magpapakasal? <laughs> Una, nakitay. <laughs> um, di pa po ako ready. Uh, mas importante po kasi sa akin, Number one priority is si Knight. And then, importante sa akin yung foundation nung relationship nyo. Huwag tayong basta-basta oo-o sa proposal, ganyan. Kung hindi naman ganun katiba yung foundation ng relationship. Kasi masasayang lang. Tapos magsasuffer pa yung anak mo because hindi nga ganun katiba. So, mas gugustuhin ko na kahit ang kasal naman, parang ano lang yan, ceremony eh. Andun pa rin tayo sa kung, kung yung, yung pagmamahalan nyo na mag-partner, yun yung importante. And hindi naman kailangan agad-agad paka, papakasal ka or ano. Kung sila Aubrey Miles, si Miss Aubrey nga, di ba? Sobrang tagal na nila, pero now lang sila nagpakasal. Kasi binild ni muna nila yung foundation ng family before sila pumasok sa ganong uh, commitment. Okay. Siyempre, marami, you... na akong, marami na rin akong nakita na nagpakasal and then mga ilang buwan or ilang years um, naghiwalay rin. So, sayang yung pera. <laughs> pera pa rin. Diba? Sayang eh. I mean, kaya lahat yung yung binigay niyo time yung relationship yeah. niyo napakatagal tapos yung inipon niyo na pera para dun sa kasal and then ending maghihiwalay rin kayo bakit hindi buuin niyo muna yung foundation niyo 
And then, kung talagang sure na sure na kayo na wala nang makaka, kumbaga makasira nun, and then, dun kayo mag-commit sa isa't isa. Para, wala talaga. May forever talaga. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So, naniniwala ka pa rin na may forever. Oo yung... naman. Depende talaga kung paano nyo i-handle yung isa't isa. Mm-mm. Paano yung healthy relationship na yon at this point? Ano yung siguro na nakakita mo na, ay, it works for us na yung ganitong pag-handle ng relationship? Um, ang kailangan kasi trust, number one. Tapos, syempre, communication. Yun yung dalawang yun, yung pinaka, ano, pinaka-main. Yung, <laughs> trust yung tipo, and communication. Ay- yung tipong yeah. kaya niyo sabihin sa isa't isa kung may something wrong, hindi kayo mahihiya, hindi kayo magkakahiyaan. Ganun na. Yes. Oo. Ayun. Kailangan Nag- eh. Para maayos agad. Mm-hmm. Ay, mapapanood niyo yun sa kunwari. Ay! <laughs> diba? Pero totoo talaga. Ay, Ay. Mas maraming mat- tips doon. Ganun-ganun. Mas marami kayo matututunan doon sa kunwari kung paano ba yung paghandle ng relationship. Mm, ayan. Ito si Joseph, eh, tumatangho kanina. So, meron kang gustong idagdag doon. So, paano ba ang maging, paano ba yung ingredient sa isang healthy relationship sa tingin mo? No, so, uh, talagang agree lang ako kay Rice, eh, you know. Well said. Yung lahat ng sinabi niya, talagang, you know, it makes so much sense na dapat hindi ka talaga nagmamadali. Just because, yun nga, for example, you guys have a baby. Just because you guys have a baby, it doesn't mean next step noon is kailangan na natin magpakasal, may anak na tayo. It's not, it's not supposed to be like that. I think marriage, dapat maramdaman mo yun naturally. You're going to feel it when you guys are ready. Because darating talaga kayo sa point na parang, okay, I think our, our, our foundation is strong enough, you know, and I think it's, it's about time to take the next step. So, yeah, like me, I've, I've been... I've been with so many relationships and and dami kong natutunan, you know? And um, yeah, at, at the end of the day, it's all about trust and yeah, communication. Communication is key, you know? Uh, hindi kasi kayo pwede maghulaan na lang palagi. Minsan, the more it gets complicated kapag, you know, for, hindi ako fan kasi ng space eh. You know, yung space na pag nag-away kayo, oh, huwag mo na tayo mag-usap. I'm not a fan of that the more it gets me go crazy na parang ang dami kong iniisip. So I think just fix it, usap kayo, be mature, latag nyo lahat, and then that's the time you, 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 you get space kung kailangan talaga. So, well, luckily enough, with me and my girlfriend, um, she travels. So meron kami talagang space. Like, I haven't seen, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is my ex-girlfriend. Ah. Ex-girlfriend to. <laughs> Lagot ka. <laughs> Dasha Rush, Roman. Dasha, Roman. Dasha. Yeah, Rush, the Russian, Russian. So she's um, she's in Korea right now. And uh, wala, sobrang healthy ng relationship namin. Kasi meron kaming, meron kaming space, you know, that it's time for you to grow individually for yourself. And the more you get to appreciate a person when they're far away. You know, sinabi yun ng character ko sa ano ha, sa kulwari mahal kita. Kulwari mahal kita. Na, yeah, kapag napapaliyo sa yung isang tao, dun mo ma-appreciate yung kawalan niya. Dun mo makikita yung kawalan niya. And the more you're gonna appreciate that person. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful because, you know, my girlfriend, she's very, she's super supportive. She doesn't even ask my she doesn't ask questions when it comes to my work because you know that's your job you know um that's yes finally ito siya, ito siya, ito siya, guys yeah, finally. <laughs> so um yeah uh yeah so yeah Ang gal- kasi nakita natin no nung pandemic talaga sobrang sweet niyo no mga pictures ko yeah. so. Yeah, Nagkakasundo yeah. kayo, even it works na kahit na magkaiba kayo ng um, lahe. Or you know what? Share ko lang. Ah. Share ko lang. First two weeks kami nag-date, um, she doesn't speak English. So, lahat ng usapan namin, naka-Google Translate kami. 
So, sasabihin ko sa Google Translate, tapos papakita ko sa kanya. For two weeks, we're like that. But, you know, the first time we've met, andun na yung connection. Eh, kahit na hindi kami nagkakaintindihan, you know na, okay, this is it, you know. Ito na to. So, yeah, and eventually now, she, she, she speaks fluently English, and um, we don't use Google Translate anymore. So, yeah. Ang galing nakakaloka yun. How did you meet? Can I ask? Uh, through common friend. Common through friend. Common friend. Yeah. Pero ang galing, ang challenge yun, hindi kayo nagkakaintindihan ng language, ha? Oh. Pero inintindi nyo yung isa't isa. So, ibig yeah. sabihin, talagang it takes yung effort, eh, no? If you're really interested yeah. in someone, then... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To yeah, connect. if... if... If talagang gusto mo yung tao, gagawin mo lahat para mag-work yung isang relationship. That's why I don't believe in, you know, those relationships na parang, ah, well, I, I, don't, I don't get to see you because wa- wala na akong time eh. You know, it's, if, if you, really, you really love the person and you want to make her feel that she's special and, um, you know, uh, at saka gusto mo, gusto mo ma-feel niya na secured siya, you have to exert effort. Minsan kahit wala kang tulog, ano ba naman yung just see her for five minutes, you know. If if you really like, you know, something or someone, there are so many ways. And mm-hmm. kung ayaw mo naman, there are so many excuses. So, mm-hmm. ano doon? Alin doon? Ito, mm-hmm. interested ako din kay Riza. Paano naman, kapag yun na, couple kayo together sa setup mo na, how do you maintain yung mystery or yung individuality, even if you're always together with your partner. Kasi possible yun eh, diba? Na pwede pa rin. Okay. Ngayon, parang hindi kami laging magkasama. Kasi parang kami nag-work. Mm. So, kasi sa industry rin siya eh, cinematographer siya. So, mas, ma- mas umaga pa nga siya umuwi. Parang, I mean, inuumaga na sila matapos. Correct. So, Alam natin, yun, na, hindi, rin, hindi rin, yes, hindi rin kami masyadong, ano, kasi pag gising ko, tulog siya, pahinga siya, syempre, tapos ako kay night, yun, so, ano rin naman, nagbibigay, kami nagbibigay kami ng space, nagkakaroon kami ng mommy time, me time. Yan, yun, yun eh. Diba? No? Para, para din mag, ano, may time ka rin sa sarili mo, tapos magkaroon ka ng, re- magre-reflect ka, kung ano ba nangyayari, ganyan. So, mm-hmm. yun. Nakakapag-paint ka pa rin, or yung mga iba mong ginagawa before. Hindi, hindi pa nga eh. Hmm. Naalala ko, tumagaling to sa ano eh. Paano ba yun yung may bow and arrow? Archery. Yes. Archery. Yes. Yes. Ganito si Liza, nakasama ko siya before sa ano. Archery. Archery. Yes, Pero, archery. Uh, grabe. Yung mga ganong hobbies na gagawa mo pa? Um, now, hindi. Kasi sobrang focus ako kay night. <laughs> so yun yun, no? Na every season of your life, you really make the most out of it. Para na-enjoy mo naman ito ngayon, yung pagiging family mm-hmm. moment. Yes. So ngayon, ang me time ko na lang pag may taping. Uh, pag may work. Ayun. Ito si Joseph. Joseph, kanina napakita. Si Celeste ba yung napakita kanina? Hindi ko sure. Pero ikaw, kasi since, ano, no, mag-miss universe na, meron ka bang, ano, how do you feel about her journey na, ayan, she's also doing her thing na um, carrying the Philippine pride sa Miss You know what? Um, I, I wish I wish her nothing but the best. You know, she came here to the Philippines to do pageantry and um, she wants to, you know, help her family. And um, her mom is, she's an amazing mom, you know. And yeah, I, I wish her nothing but the best. And sana, you know, magtuloy-tuloy yung, yung journey niya. Yeah. Ayan. Ayan. So, Pepsters, ang dami nating mga... Um, natutunan kina Joseph and Riza pero bago tayo syempre mag and kailangan dumaan sila dito sa ating pep challenge okay ang pep challenge natin ay guilty or not guilty 
Okay, eto. Guilty or not guilty? Meron kayong chance to defend yourself? So, sasabihin nyo lang okay. kung guilty or not guilty. Kaya, um, maano nyo naman, ma-explain nyo naman ang side nyo kung sakaling guilty ang sagot. Are you ready, Riza and Joseph? Yes. Okay. Number one, guilty or not guilty, do one thing and then regret it afterwards. Guilty. Guilty. Ayan. In fairness, no, talaga umamin sila kagad. Ano yung, pwede nyo ba ma-share kung ano ba yung mga nagagawa nyo? Ay, general ko na lang, siguro. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean di ba, may mga desisyon naman talaga tayo sa life na minsan, um, kala mo tama, pero pag after nun lahat na nangyari, mali pala. Dapat pala hindi yun. Dapat ganito pala. So, Well, okay lang din naman yon, kasi natututo tayo doon. Doon tayo nabubuo. Ayun. Si Joseph. Guilty um, kasi, no, not, not not because of, you know, major decisions. Kasi, yeah, totoo naman yun na parang lahat naman ng decisions natin, it's uh, it's meant to happen, you know. And uh, kung hindi man mag-succeed yun, you learn so much from it. Pero ang pinaka nagigilty ako is because of the food. So pag kumakain ako ng pizza, hindi na doon ako nagigilty. Ang hirap bawiin. Yeah. Kailangan bawiin sa exercise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or more, dahil kailangan bawiin sa exercise or more of you know better now how to take care of yourself kaya ayaw mo nang iniiwasan mo na yung mga ganong food. Well, it's it's a temptation, you know, especially if you know that it has so much MSG, you know, that the food is processed. So, especially doing doing hand for it, I I learned so much from that journey, you know, because talagang inaral ko yung, you know, even even water, you know, I had to do research about tap water, and that's why I'm now I'm, I'm only drinking. Drinking. Uh, yeah. How many, so, like how many bottles in a day? Um, no, no, not, uh, siguro, nakaka-ano rin ako. Like, let's say, mga three, three to four liters a day. Dami. Yeah. Yung talaga, no? Para talagang yeah. hydrated. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yung ni-research mo yung tubig. Important talaga yeah. yan. Ino mo yeah. ako. <laughs> <laughs> Pareho pala sila na handa. Okay. Next. Guilty or not Guilty. Napagalitan ng director. O yan. Guilty. Ano ba? ba? Lahat ng artista dumadaan dyan. <laughs> yeah. Guilty. So Guilty. may naiyak ka ba na time? Oo naman po. Especially yung mga times na nagsisimula po ako. Siyempre Paano wala ko pa masyadong alam. Wala. Ano, paso at labas sa kamera. <laughs> Hindi ka naman yun na-trauma. Tapos iyak na lang later, yung mga ganon. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ka naman na-trauma. Ang ka. Hindi na, medyo, medyo nakaka-trauma, pero wala eh. Part talaga siya ng trabaho eh. Hindi ka gagaling pag di mo yun na-experience. <laughs> Ayun, si Raiza. Si Joseph, guilty or not guilty? Guilty, guilty. And I, I remember I was still with GMA that time. Because I started my career with GMA talaga. Okay. Hindi lang siguro, um, pero I was still doing commercial modeling that time. So medyo, yun yung time na talaga nagsusunod-sunod yung commercial ko. And wala, parang trinay ko lang. You know, my manager at that time asked me if I wanted to join um, show business. So uh, they gave me a show. And hindi ko inaaral yung script. I wasn't, I wasn't reading. Akala ko kasi, you know, pakit cute lang. Parang commercial lang. Tapos yun, na, namura ako ng director. Oh my God. And I wanted, I wanted to quit that time. I didn't want to cry. Like, you know, I don't want this. You know, okay ako sa commercial industry. But, yeah, parang ganun yung nangyari. Pero everything changed when I transferred to ABS-CBN. When they, when they gave me a, big role. Sabi ko, ah, ganito pala. So, it changed my perspective when it comes to, you know, the industry and the acting and the craft. Yeah. Mm. Ayan, inamin mo naman kanine na at the start of your career, di ba, parang you weren't, 
yung, yung purpose, hindi mo pa masyadong nahanap yeah. and benefits pa. Yeah. Pero eventually yeah. nga, yun naman, nakita na talagang pang-acting talaga ang um, career ni Joseph. Okay, next, guilty or not guilty? Natarayan ng artista. Guilty or not guilty? Artista. Guilty. Ay, si Liza, in fairness, very honest. Oo. Paano nangyari? Ayoko na po yung i-open. <laughs> Basta, yun na po. Bata ka pa niyan? O hindi? Naku. Hindi masyado. Ay, kalo ka. <laughs> ano na lang natutunan mo from that incident? Hindi ko alam eh. <laughs> Actually, wala akong mali. So, Isang. parang ini, inisip mo na lang na, yun nga, parang ginet over mo na lang. Hindi, ganito na lang, parang pumunta ako doon parang mag-work. Period. <laughs> Ayun. Ayun. Tama naman. O, yun naman. Na parang, yun nga, ibig sabihin, ginet over mo na lang. At least, you, ano, parang, yung mindset mo, parang, Intact pa rin yung core kahit yes. natarayan. Okay, si Joseph. Natarayan um, ng artista. Guilty or not guilty? I, I think guilty, but to be honest, ako kasi, I don't, I don't, I'm not into drama. You know, if if titarayan mo ako, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna think that maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe you have a problem and, you know, maybe you're not happy. So I feel bad for you and I hope you're you're gonna be okay. So... You know, I, I I don't make it a big deal talaga kasi ayaw kong, ayaw kong naisipin. Parang it's it's out of your control, you know. So just focus on the things that you can control. Why would you control another person's mood or something, you know? So, yeah. Hmm. Gusto ko yan. Yung nga, no? Importante talaga yung proper mindset para hindi ka ma-shake ng external factors. Yep, yep. Exactly. Okay, okay. guilty or not guilty next. Betrayed by a trusted person. Totohan naman ito. Guilty. Naranasan niyo na ba in your life? Like a friend or can be a colleague or confident? Guilty, sir. May ganyan naman talaga sa life natin. Hmm. Kahit kanilong story ng buhay ng tao, meron at meron isang tao na pinagkakatiwalaan mo na ibebetray ka. Hmm. So, yun. wala, ganun talaga, part yan. <laughs> Nagpo-forgive and forget ka ba, Ariza? Hmm. Nagpo-forgive ako, pero hindi ako nagpo-forget. Kasi lesson mo yun eh. Siyempre, lesson mo yun eh. Pag kinalimutan mo yun, mangyayari uli yun sa'yo. So, huwag mo kalimutan para maging aware ka doon sa mga taong nasa paligid mo. Ay, boundaries. Okay. Diba? Si Joseph. Hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, happened to me, and um, agree din ako kay Raisa, you know, you forgive. Actually, forgiving, it's, it's not, it's not for them, it's for you, you know, for you to have a peace of mind, and para hindi mo na siya isipin, but yeah, you, you don't forget, because you learn from it, and you know what kind of a person he or she is, so yeah, I mean, It's part of life. Maraming, maraming ganyan, you know. And you don't even know kung ano yung, kung ano yung naging reason nila kung bakit nila ginawa. So, yeah. But the fact that they did that to you. Ako kasi mabilis ako ma-turn off. But I, 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 I don't have so much friends. Parang very small circle. But those are really trusted people. So, when I get turned off, talagang, you know, like, as in wala. Turn off talaga ako. So, talagang shut down parang wala ka na talaga sa buhay ko and yeah that's that's just how I you know move on from things okay number four o oh, five na ba tayo eto last na my my fear of commitment guilty or not guilty not guilty okay kasi so, th- before ako pumasok sa commitment Siyempre, pag-iisipan ko kung magagawa ko ba or mabibigay ko ba yung 100% commitment ko dun. So, siyempre, pag 
mabibigay mo go, 'di ba? Mas pag-commit ka pero kung hindi wag kasi may masisira or may masasaktan lang. So handa kang sumugal talaga sa pag-ibig kahit na nasaktan na dati. <laughs> Man. Pag-ibig. Bakit mo sem? Oh. Pag-ibig may pag-usapan natin. Akala ko kung anong commitment. <laughs> commitment! Pag-ibig like, yun like, siyempre. Like trabaho yung commitment. Ah, pwede rin yun. Okay. Iba-ibang klase. O, oh, diba? Iba-ibang klase naman. Pero pwede rin naman sa relationship, diba? Papasok ka sa isang relasyon. Kung hindi ka 100%, bakit ka papasok? Para ano? Wala lang. Tama, oo. Kasi nga, makilingi diba? ka naman pumasok may parang kita dito. May sasaktan ka, ba diba? So, mas okay na 100% kang commit ka dun sa tao na yon or dun sa trabaho na yon Yeah, so give your all talaga to si Riza. Yeah. Okay, Joseph. Guilty. Ako naman guilty. Pero agree din ako sa lahat ng sinabi ni Riza. You know, especially when it comes to, you know, um, accepting huge projects, big projects, because it's, it's a lot of work, you know, you, you don't just act there. It's, it takes so much preparation, so much commitment. So you have to be really ready 100% if you're gonna, you know, accept a job or accept an offer. Because especially at this point of my career, it's, it's about quality more than quantity. Tapos na tayo dun sa tanggap ka dito, tanggap ka ng movie, tanggap ka ng teleserye, just to, you know, get so much money but you know right now it's it's about you know it's about get, getting that feeling na fulfilled ka so yeah talagang may fear ako just because you know i don't want people to um get disappointed parang gusto ko patunayan sa kanila na oh tama yung tama na kinuha natin tong artist ng tour tama na kinuha natin siya so yeah so you don't walk away or quit in the middle of a project? Oh, no, no, no. Hell no, it's, it's, not, my, it's not my thing. But I'm, I'm not a quitter. But I'm, I'm very choosy, but I'm not a quitter. So if I accept it and along the way, still, I'm going to give my 100% best and think that this is the best project. So I really have to so that I could still bring my... Mm. Ikaw, Riza, ganun din. Hindi ka, hindi ka magkikwit in the middle of a project. O, hindi ganun yun. Pangit naman nun. Napaka-unprofessional yeah. naman nun. Kung hindi ka happy, tapos mo na lang, then wag mo na lang ulit gawin na pumasok ka sa isang project na hindi mo maibibigay yung 100% commitment mo. Ayan, grabe naman tong dalawang to. Ang dami natin natutunan today, Pepsters from Joseph and Riza. So, thank you very much for um, sharing your story with us. So, ito na, meron kayong, may, kung meron kayong mga um, upcoming projects, you can invite Pepsters to follow, um, to watch for that project or to follow you on your social media accounts. Ayan. Okay, yes, mga pepsters, sana ho manood kayo ng kunwari mahal kita. Showing na po yan. At makikita nyo po sa Instagram account ko yung lahat kung saan available na si Nimas ang kunwari mahal kita. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Riza Senon and TikTok at Real Riza Senon, Facebook Riza Senon, and YouTube Real Riza Senon. Ayun. At syempre, abangan nyo rin po ako sa Cordopia. Mag-start na po kami sa Sabado po yan sa TV5. Nyo po mapapanood. Yay! Yes, Pepsters. Um, please invite your friends, your family to watch Kunwari Mahal Kita because I'm sure you know, maraming makaka-relate sa moving to. And um, showing na po yan. Uh, starting today, March 15, invite your friends and family and everybody and enjoy. And please um, stay tuned. And, you know, uh, I will announce kung ano man yung mga mangyayari sa akin on my Instagram and Twitter. Just follow me, um, Joseph C. Marco, and on my TikTok, newly TikTok account, um, Sefi Marco. Thank you so much, guys. Ayan. 
Thank you so much once again, Pepsters, Joseph, Marco, and Riza Senon here on Pep Live. Don't Thank forget you. To, so don't forget to watch yan. Kunwari, mahal kita. Exciting. Nakakakilig. At tignan natin kung happy ending itong si Hyde and si Greg. And of course, Pepsters, follow us. Um, all the social social media accounts of pep.ph. Ayan, naka-flash na sa baba. Don't forget also to catch all the latest updates sa showbiz at entertainment sa at pep.ph. And also, you can follow me on my social media accounts here on um, Instagram and Twitter at Pinkshi. So yun. Thank you so much, Pepsters, for joining us this afternoon. Once again, Riza Senon and Joseph Marco. Thanks, Rach. Um, thanks, Pepsters. Thank you, it's Rachel. been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.